discussion? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Assalamu uh, alaikum. I, I have a question. Um, uh, uh, you announced, I mean, uh, the, the news about the, uh, the party was announced on the Saturday, 30th of April. The same day on the streets of Cairo, posters appeared, signed by uh, Muslim Brotherhood, uh, that were all written in Egyptian Arabic, not standard Arabic. Things like, uh, I won't litter. Uh, and so on and so on. So uh, it seemed that the, the, the Brotherhood had started the campaign the same day when they announced the party, but the campaign uh, that had started was more socially uh, oriented or even like a, attempting to make a cultural intervention. So uh, what can we expect from the campaign of the party once it gets established? Is it going to address Egyptians in Egyptian Arabic? or in, uh, in standard Arabic. And why is this campaign uh, so modeled on the one that we see on, on TV uh, by Sawiris, who also recently formed the party, and his campaign is Khalik uh, Gabi, Khalik Mosri, which is all about not throwing uh, trash in the streets and uh, not paying uh, bribes and not breaking things and so on and so on. So is this the division that you were talking about between social on the side of the brotherhood and what, what do we expect on the side of the political. Also if you could say uh, who, uh, which are the elements that you uh, mentioned within the Arab world that are against the Egyptian revolution. Thank you. Thank you. Do you agree on this? Do you want the Egyptians to keep moving like this, mixed in this time because of the situation they have now? You can't find big difference between such a movement and political acts now. It's too difficult to distinguish these two streams in the society. They are quite mixed, but they will become distinguished in the future, in the near future, when we will start to have elections. You know, usually social movement is the main base for political parties and uh, the positions the parties will take, regardless of the name of the party or its uh, background. Uh, and I think you all know in 1920, the uh, coalition of syndicates of laborers in uh, the UK has started to uh, establish and initiate uh, the Labour Party in England, in, in the UK, right? And that was the social big movement in the society, and they got together somehow and they established the party. And the party continued depending on this big social movement up to maybe the 70s or something, for more than 50 years. So usually parties, when they are established, they depend on a uh, social, to a great extent, social movement in society, and that movement will keep giving them the power and giving them support until the parties become, to some extent, capable of moving on their uh, own, uh, uh, their own, uh, well, their, their own self, but uh, you know, when we start, we start on our social background movement in the society, of course. Our new members, 70% of them are from Ikhwan, from the movement, and 30% are from people who are not members in, in, the, in the movement. Now, we have um, about 12.5% uh, women, we have about 100 uh, Christian uh, uh, member up till now, Dr. Rafi Habib is the vice president of the party now. So our our movement in the society have been searching for and con trying to convince, and others also are convinced by themselves to become a part from this party in the beginning. When comes go, or when times go, well, I think when we will come to a point where the party will be strong enough to stand on its own foot. Can you just take a group of questions? Uh, hi, my name is Wei Feng I'm from China's Taishin Media. I've actually got two questions. The first one is actually, what is your response to um, the news a few days ago that Mubarak and his wife are returning their illegal assets in exchange for freedom? Um, what is your response to that? This is the first one. The second one is, earlier this year I spoke with somebody from Muslim Brotherhood as well, but he said that Muslim Brotherhood is not going to run for presidency. 
So now you form a political party, and it's quite likely that you are going to run for presidency. What is your, your response to that? Thank you very much. Yeah, for the first question. Uh, of course, the people of Egypt do not accept what's been claimed by Mr. Mubarak and his wife, that they will exchange, exchange their freedom by returning back the money they got illegally. Because that's a crime. And uh, crime has to be judged by a fair trial and court. So when you say we are ready to uh, bring the money back to Egyptian people, and then uh, we become free. This is just a ridiculous situation. It's not accepted by the people, not only by us. We are seeking and looking for a fair trial for everyone, Mubarak and his followers, his wife, his sons, uh, the others also. We, we, are, we want a fair trial for them, a court, and also uh, sentences and statements that based on uh, the law, and we are looking forward for that. They, they have committed a big, not only one crime, but it's, uh, the biggest crime was uh, what they did and done for the, the Egyptian people well. They have created a situation that has dragged Egypt back hundreds of years. So this is a very, very big crime about the presidential campaign. Uh, the group has decided, the party hasn't started yet discussing the matter, but group, Muslim Brotherhood group has decided on February 10th, before even Mubarak stepped down, because we've been seeing the situation in the future. It, it was very clear that this regime will vanish and will be removed, and the people are insisting on going on, then the situation in the future, we will see democracy, we will see a new situation in Egypt. Then we said it's not appropriate for us or for society or for what we have uh, as circumstances and new environments and real positions. We are talking about Egypt and its surroundings and the Arab world and the end of the world in general. Then we said it's not appropriate for us to have a candidate this time for presidency for this time, and after that we'll think about it before. Now the party will discuss the matter when times come, yeah. So, so that means it's very likely you are going to run for presidency? No. No. Not this election. It's very unlikely that we will, go to, uh, we will run for presidency. Very unlikely. Yeah, the decision up till now is no. And we mean it. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Um, my name is Ahmed.